Iowans with severe lung disease linked to vaping keeps going up. This just gets scarier. Lauren, what are the latest numbers on this growing epidemic? Alex, we've now hit 13 total cases here in Iowa. A variety of vaping products are to blame, not only here, but across the United States. Vaping THC, though, seems to be the most common thread between these cases. Let's take a look at the numbers. At the end of August, the state began tracking the number of cases on a weekly basis. The Iowa Department of Health reported eight cases as of Friday, September 6th. And one week later, the state reported five more cases linked to vaping, bringing us to the total number of cases today, which is 13, as we mentioned earlier in Iowa. Now, the CDC is investigating the surge of similar cases. So far, within 36 states, there's been more than 380 lung-related illnesses reported. Six deaths are linked to the e-cigarette devices, and last week, the president vowed to take steps to keep products out of the hands of teens and young people. The epidemic was also a main topic during the Sunday morning political circuit. Democratic candidates for president spoke about the illnesses. So we got to make sure that no one's able to buy their way in toward democracy with pack checks or lobbyists to write the rules in their favor, as tobacco has done, as pharmaceutical corporations mm -hmm. are able to do, as the NRA has been able okay. to do. We've got to stand up for people and especially for kids right now. This, this is an urgent issue. In response to the issue, President Trump says he is looking to ban most flavored vaping products popular with today's teens. And the FDA is working on guidelines to pull products from stores. New data suggests more than 25% of high school students use e-cigarettes. Alex?